think of marathons and there's just this one person who comes to your mind it's milan soman and i'm not just saying because i'm thinking about him it's because he's right here with me hi milan soman how are you very well thank you you can call me milan you don't have to say milan soman okay that was just for the introduction now i'm going well, to call you milan sure. so milan you're here in chandigarh yes. what brings you here please tell us well i'm here for the uh, gilko half marathon and i'm going to be running 21 myself so i'm quite uh, excited thrilled i'm always happy when i can run and there're going to be uh, hundreds and hundreds of people there so it's going to be fun i hope you're running too yes i am yeah. you're the motivation Super. <laughs> so uh, i i believe you were here in 2022 as well what what is what are your memories associated with the city with chandigarh what does it feel when you come to the city well the food is great uh, i mean the people are wonderful of course and uh, which i was noticing today also the roads again i mean they're so straight and it's such a Smooth wonderful ride. grid and yeah it's a beautiful beautiful city yeah and uh, is that the only memory of or uh, association with the city chandigarh uh, well a friend of mine used to live here she passed away um uh, mankor okay yeah she was a very special lady she died at 105 wow. and she started running at the age of 93 and she represented india uh, for many years and and won many gold medals for india so she was really special and she lived she lived here in chandigarh nice mm-hmm. and uh, as it's the start of the year it's just one month that has passed of right. 2023 what are your fitness goals for this year and any new or uh, skill that you want to acquire um i don't have any fitness goals per se but yeah i want to i want to increase my mobility i want to do a split okay. i can't do a split Uh, so one is a split and one i want uh, i want to do a muscle up do you know what that is no please tell us a muscle up it's it's uh, okay i don't know if i can explain so it's a pull up yes and then you go over the bar and do and push yourself up wow yeah, it sounds tough it, it's quite uh, it's it's technical but yeah that's what i want to do and there's a lot other things that you can do so because you do so much in fitness yeah. and you're like this icon for everybody yeah. no matter what age share some tips for somebody who's a beginner or who you know intends to be into this uh, fitness and running and all of that well if it's fitness uh, then first you have to decide what what fitness what is the fitness that you want do you want to run a marathon Uh, which is a different kind of fitness from ro- wanting to run 100 meters very very fast in 12 seconds maybe or 11 seconds what is the fitness that you want or you want to swim uh, you know 10 kilometers so once you decide what is the level of fitness or you want to do a, an iron man then you train specifically for that and uh, if you're starting then i'll just say go slow um learn from your experience every single day be very very regular and you'll get where you want to go uh you were saying that you sta- you did your first marathon at the age of 38 yeah so from first there half first half marathon yeah. from there till here what all has gone into your journey regularity i mean that is the key to to getting good at anything that you have to be regular you have to be consistent you have to make that effort every single day it doesn't matter how much effort but some effort so a lot of people ask me how much i work out every day or how much i exercise and it's just 15 or 20 minutes right so i don't do a lot and i don't go to the gym i work out at home but i know exactly what i need to do and that's what i do you know based on what i want so i have observed myself and there's certain um uh, functions that i need to work on certain weaknesses that i have and those are the ones that i that i focus on and that's why i don't need to work out for 2 hours or 3 hours or 4 hours so uh, when you say that you focus on what you want to do that yeah. means there's a lot of understanding of the body yes. how the yes. mind works what is the role of food and fitness uh, like you've said how to start and what steps to stay is what steps to take but when it comes to food how do you include that uh, in in your fis- fitness regime so obviously i mean to me i feel that if you're working for fitness at a say an international level the olympics or even the national level you have to pay a lot of attention to your food right you have to have maybe have a particular diet because the kind of nutrients that you need are different you're working out if you're if you're competing at that level then you're working out maybe 6 7 hours a day right but if it's general health and fitness that you're looking for i don't i don't have a very special diet i don't have a special diet at all i eat everything i have no restriction but of course i know what is good for me and what is bad for me i minimize what i think is bad for me and i maximize what i think is good for me that's it so what are like the big no's for you in your diet There is Maybe no no. There's no no. Okay. But I minimize say refined food, 
refined sugar. I minimize it. It's not that I don't eat it. I eat. I, I love jalebi. I like gulab jamun. I love sweets. And you but have I'm, all of I'm that? Everything. In little quantities? Little quantities and maybe not every day. Okay. And I, I eat it when I know it's good, you know, that it's prepared well. I don't just eat it if it's there, it may not be prepared well, I don't, uh, you know, waste that opportunity. So I love jalebis, for example, and I know the, the best place for jalebis, so I will eat jalebis definitely if I go to that place. So things like that, or a cake, so different kind of cakes, where they specially make that cake, I'll go there and I'll, I'll eat it. I won't just say, okay, I have to eat sweets, so I eat sweets all the time. Okay. Not like that. So I know what's uh, good for me and what's bad for me, and I, I, I know that fruits, are good for me. Vegetables are good for me. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Wow. Yeah, so that's how it is. Uh, uh, and like I eat non-vegetarian food. I know it's not healthy. It's not that good for me, so I eat much less. Yeah. And uh, while you Because again, it's a balance, right? I, I'm active every day. I don't... So what happens to a lot of people is they exercise a lot and then they stop exercising for some time. So it is important to exercise every day, to be active. I wouldn't even say e exercise. You have to be active every day with a variety of movements. Like nowadays, people think active is walking. Yeah. But walking That's is not enough. enough because you have to bend, you have to reach the floor, you know, you have to jump a little bit, you have to climb a little bit, climb the stairs. So different kind of movements are important so that we don't lose the abilities that we have. So if you are that active every day, you don't need to go to the gym or anything like that, then your, your, uh, the body function is such that you can eat whatever you want. And you will realize how much of it to eat automatically. You won't even have to think about it. No. Your body will say, your mind will also say no. You will eat as much as you want and you will eat it at the, at the time it is right. So all these things matter. What time you're eating it, how much you're eating it, why you're eating it, all of those and things matter. And how much movement there And how much there. movement, yeah, no, just talk about food, but you have to be aware yeah. how much, when, why, those are important questions. Why are we talking about food? How often do you cook yourself? I never cook. You do I don't not? like cooking, no. You don't? No, I, I was working in a hotel once because uh, at the age of, I think, 19 or 20, I was, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. So I spent almost a year working in a hotel, thinking that you're going to hotel management, maybe it might be interesting, hospitality. Yeah. And I spent three months in the kitchen. So like never again. No. So I can cook, but I don't enjoy it. Don't enjoy. Yeah. But do you make meals for your wife? Some surprises, sometimes, date nights? Sometimes, sometimes. Even she doesn't like cooking, but now she likes cooking for me. Okay. And sometimes, late nights never, because it's not good to eat late in the night. Okay. And she's also very conscious. Yeah, life so we, we, in fact, we don't eat a very heavy dinner at all. Uh, none of us. So my mother, uh, my wife and I, we eat very light in the night. Um, we eat, I think the heaviest meal we eat is lunch. Yeah. To have a partner who's as much into fitness and she's, you guys have been together for five years. How Ten. does it feel? Ten? Ten wow, years. okay. Five years of marriage. Yes. Yeah. So how does it feel? Uh, it feels great. Um, I mean, to share that, you know, it would have it would have been a little less fun if she didn't like to run. It would have still been fun, but she loves to run. In fact, she runs more than I run, and, she's and so she good does at yoga. yoga. Yeah. She's go really good at yoga. She's an instructor, and she's very focused again on on figuring out what is best for her. And when I'm saying best, is it's not only just physically, but it's also mentally, emotionally. How to keep yourself in a good space, you know, that you can have a happy life. That's important. So you have to study yourself to know what it takes for you to be in a happy life. It just doesn't happen on its own. You have to study yourself. And she contributes to it. Yes, of course. You have to contribute to each other, right? I mean, we're married, so it's a very, very intimate relationship. You're spending so much time together. And if both of you don't see uh, eye to eye, uh, and it's okay to have opinions, you know, but you have to respect each other's opinion also and also each other's uh, ambitions or each other's desires of what they want from life. And you have to help them achieve it. So she helps me achieve what I want to do and I help, I help her to achieve what she wants. Okay. You know? And uh, while we've spoken about fitness, food, now what about work, uh, front, I mean movies, cinema? Yeah. What has been keeping you busy? Uh, there, there was this busy at all. There was this film, Lakkar Baga, that came yes, and you yes, played a father yes, in that yes, film. How was it? It was great fun. I mean, I, ex I, I accept projects which I think uh, are interesting. Uh, the story has to appeal to me, the character has to appeal to me, the director has to appeal to me. And then I do it. So I don't do a lot of work. Uh, if, I, if, I, if I think it's an interesting movie, an interesting film, then I do it. I don't know whether it's going to turn out interesting, but uh, the script has to be nice, the story has to be nice. So I, I really like Lakkar Baga a lot. I really like the film and it got very, very good reviews as well. 
and the next film that I'm doing, uh, I've already finished working in it. It's called uh, Emergency. And again, uh, I mean, I love the way it's shot. I love the subject. It's it's about uh, Indira Gandhi and during the emergency years and a little bit before and after as well. So, uh, yeah, those kind of projects. I and what was it like to uh, play a transgender? How challenging oh was God. it? That um, image, I'm sure. It's, it's, it's uh, not really... It is challenging, of course, to understand somebody else. But then you have to look inside. Again, it's about... I believe that everybody is the same inside. You just have more of something and less of something else, but it's there, right? Everybody has it. It's like you have all the same organs and you have all the same uh, composition as everybody else, even in your mind, even in your body, but some things are more pronounced, some things are more enhanced. So you have to find it where it is so that you can have that empathy with, with another person, yeah. you know? Because it's there, it's not like, oh, they're like that and we're like that. No, we're actually all the same. You have to be in touch with that part that, that you feel is different. It's there in you. So even when, if I'm playing a transgender, which I did in Parashpur, it was, it was a lot of fun to go into that space and, you know, feel... Um, it's, it's not very different in that, that sense. Love is love, you know. I mean, when we talk about different genders, we're talking about how, how do their uh, relationships work. You know, how do the relationship with themselves work? Uh, you know, how difficult is that? Because we're taught a certain thing as we grow up, that there are two genders, yeah. right? But then some people feel that, no, I don't, I don't fit in here and I don't fit in there. I have to cre create my own space. And I, I think that's very important. You must create your own space, whether it's with gender or with anything else. And then you have to meet somebody who is like-minded, you know, who feels that. And in every relationship, that is important. So it's not just about gender, it's about creating your own space, then finding somebody else who believes in it as much as you do, and who you can believe in as much as they do. They do. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, what about uh, what's happening at the writing front? So the memoir, of course, took a long time, uh, though I wrote it with Rupa Pai, who's a fantastic writer in Bangalore, and I'd like to do another book with her. Um, there are two other publishers who have come to me and said we want and I'm just thinking of what is what could it be that would inspire me to to write a whole book you know or even talk so much that it will be a whole book so yeah I'm just thinking about it so mostly health and fitness and more about happiness that I think you know it's something that everybody um, wants but they don't know how to get you know and unfortunately I feel that you know, we are all, we feel we go to school, we get educated, we learn, but we don't learn the two most important things. We don't learn how to be healthy. Nobody teaches us. They don't teach you in school. They don't teach you at home. And they don't teach you how to be happy. Yeah. So the two most important things, where do you learn? And of course you can learn inside, but then how do you access that? That is important. How do you open that door to yourself so you can be healthy and you can be happy? Fitness to me is your ability to deal with life in a positive way. And to deal with the life that you have chosen, whatever your life is, you're a teacher or a business person or you're a journalist or whatever you are, you have chosen that life for yourself. Are you fit for it? Are you able to be happy in the space that you've created? That is the fitness you need to build, not the fitness to run a marathon. That is for fun. This is for happiness. You, know, you have to be fit for the life that you have chosen for yourself. So that is something that I, I believe in. And that's something that I work at every day because you want to keep fit, you have to work at it every day. You want to be healthy, you have to work at it every day. You want to be happy, you have to work at it every day. So your message to your audience is? Work at it every day.